Today, I decided to finally finish off this speaker box. What's got to happen in the back of this truck, underneath the box itself, is going to be 3 quarter inch MDF all the way to the tailgate. Basically I'm going to use it to cover up this whole section of carpet. My amps are going to sit underneath, so you're never going to see them. Um, I've just got to decide what height I'm going to uh, space this off the floor. I'm going to do that, use either a 2x4 or something along those lines, just basically to have that 2x4 sitting on the carpet. Uh, I'll notch out wherever the wiring has to come through on both ends. <clears throat> and I should be able to uh, raise the floor effectively that way without having an issue. And then I can get these amps secured to the floor so they're not going to move around. Uh, the box is actually sitting upside down right now. It's going to flip over 180 degrees. Uh, I just made a couple of measurements with this box here, just where it's at, so I can still keep the operation of that, that seat in the back. So, this seat here should still be able to fold right up in front of the subs, hiding them protecting them <laughs> and it should be good to go. It fits tight from wheel well to wheel well which is what I wanted from the beginning. I just have to, uh, once I get this piece cut basically is when I'm going to finish off this box. The face of this box is going to be vinyl. Um, I'm tempted to do the same black and gray tones that I did on my console and the rest will just be a carpet, gray colored similar to the interior, something rel relatively durable um, so when I want to throw my tools in the back of the truck, it's not an issue. Uh, okay, well I made it, like I said, I made a couple measurements. So we're going to go over and cut some wood up and uh, show you how it all fits together. Well, here we are. Forty-six wide. So I'm cutting off about two inches. So all the way down, on that guy there, that's the leftovers that I have from this piece. The way this piece sets up, <clears throat> the speaker box will sit in this direction. And back here is going to be basically the tailgate of the truck. Um, not that this is much help, but uh, I've got to trim out the corners. I think it sits like this. I'm going to trim out the corner for the wheel well, and this is a little offset for the tailgate, which is back in this corner. I'm going to do all that by hand with a jigsaw and a piece of cardboard. I'm going to make templates at home and uh, work it that way. It's a little bit easier. So now, I'm going to rip some stuff on the table so I'll get her set up and I'll make some cuts. This 2x4 is going to become the uh, underneath the, the support underneath my uh, speaker box, which is going to allow me to have enough room for my amplifier, both my amplifiers, and let everything. So, all I'm doing is cutting it a little bit smaller than the base that it needs to be, and then we're good to go. Good to go. That's all it takes. So if you were to look at this, um, if it were upside down, the speaker box will be attached to the face, the full width, and this is just going to be flipped over and sit in the back of the truck. The bottom edge of these 2x4s are actually going to rest on the floor of the truck, 
that's what's going to give me my space enough for the amplifier. What I'm going to do is uh, probably on the bandsaw, going to cut some slots. Basically, make this only contact the floor in uh, two or three spots. That should help keep everything nice and level. Because if the floor, the truck floor has a bump in it or something, this whole thing's going to want to rock. Eliminating the uh, amount of spots that actually touch the floor will help keep it level. So if I take both of these 2x4s and cut a groove out of them all the way down, leaving a leg at each end, it's going to help it stay a little bit more stable. I'm not too worried about strength. I've got 3 quarter inch MDF screwed to a double layered 3 quarter inch speaker box. This stuff on its own is not going to want to give no matter what I put back there. It's such a short span I'm not concerned. Uh, but having the notch is actually going to let me run all my power wires and audio wires through. So both of these 2x4s are going to get notched. And we'll, when I bring it home, I will uh, assemble everything. <clears throat> well, I drew it out real quick. I used the, I think it's a 5 pound weight just to get a nice radius on these corners. Quick run on the radius sander, we're good to go. Okay, there's one leg that'll be attached from the other side, and that'll let me have enough room to run all of my wiring through. And the two points of contact should be uh, just right to help keep it stable. Um, strength is not really going to be a factor because. Uh, three-quarter inch base. Pretty tough. So now I'll make the second one. So what I've got here, just the side profile of what it's going to be. The three-quarter top and then the legs. Um, I cut out one extra piece here just with the scrap I had left over and I would use it as a trim plate. Uh, it's the same height overall so it would be like an end cap. So against the tailgate of the truck you'll actually be able to see this is what you're going to see is this profile here from the side so so in order to fix that um, this piece will go across the back to close it off nicely there we go sorry filled the memory card um, so the extra piece as I was saying it's just going to go across the back at the tailgate so when you look in the back of the truck you're not going to see underneath the box uh, it should just keep everything nice and clean if I need ventilation in there, I'm going to have uh, some electric fans that I can run underneath to circulate some air. But I don't anticipate um, beating the system up that hard to need the fans going all the time. But we'll see. Time will tell. Right now it's cold outside. It's winter, so uh, it's like 25 degrees this morning. So I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, okay, well, back to the house now to throw it all on the back of the truck and see what we come up with. So far, so good. Well, I was trying to beat the cold. Uh, I had the sun at my back and it was nice. Now it's chilly outside. But anyways, so as you can see, there's a nice space underneath. And underneath that space is uh, my uh, my gap to run all my wiring underneath. I've got both amps sitting underneath right now. I've mounted the box to the base, so it's solid. Uh, and this is what I've got in the back so far. So I'm just working on running my speaker wires through the bottom and to the amp. Um, I've screwed this all together. More of a mock-up for now. I'll get the bolts going once I'm positive that this is exactly where I want it. So in the next few minutes here I should be able to uh, wire the subs back up. Put them back in the box and let's see what happens.
Thank you.